you have the old Samsung Galaxy S8 and you are noticing that it's starting to run a little bit slower. Here are two ways to help your phone run faster. One is pretty simple inside the settings. One is a little bit deeper into the software of the phone. It'll feel intimidating, but it is easy and you won't mess your phone up. And then what we'll do is we'll compare the, after we make those adjustments in the S8, we'll compare it to how quickly the A10e runs against it, just in normal everyday uh, usage with the phone, messenger, and camera. All right, so the very first thing you can do, let's go into settings. This is something you should do every couple of days, once a week. Even though my screen is broken, we can still see. I want you to scroll down a little bit, and I want you to touch device care. Inside device care, it is going to show you the, your performance, and all you have to do is touch optimize now. And it's, uh, the software is automatically going to close apps that you don't uh, use, free up some memory, and your phone will uh, basically automatically start running better for you. All right, that's an easy one. So if you want to stop there, because that's that's all you want to do, you, want, you don't want to do the next, appreciate you watching the video. Please like, please subscribe. If you want to stay for something that's kind of cool, let's back out of this. Let's go back to settings. Scroll up once, swipe up once, touch settings. Now, inside settings, we're going to scroll all the way down to about phone. Inside about phone, I want you to touch software information. Inside of software information, I want you to look for build number. Mine is right here behind the broken glass. Now, we're going to touch just this box right here or the word build number seven times and watch what happens. One, two, three. You should get that message. Four, five, six, seven. You should get this message. Developer mode has been turned on. That's what we want. Okay. Now we're going to back out one. We're going to back out again. And now we're back to settings. Okay. Now all you have to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. A new option opens up below about phone and it's developer options. This is what we just turned on. And this is the software inside of the phone. Okay. Nothing to be intimidated about. Just don't touch anything. <laughs> all right. Make sure it's toggled on. Now, in your phone, it'll be easier to read, but on mine, we're looking for a heading called Drawing. So, see, this is Debugging, and then we're going to pass Networking, and then we're going to keep going past Input should be the next one, and then right after Input is Drawing, and that is exactly what we want. Now, there are three drawing settings that we're going to change. Windows Animation Scale, Transition Animation Scale, and Animator Duration Scale. Now, if you make these changes and you don't like them, just come back to the developer options and turn them back to 1x. Okay? So let's change the first one. Windows Animation Scale. Touch it. Now, you should easily be able to see Animation Off, Animation Scale 0.5, and Animation Scale 1. One should be highlighted automatically on your phone. If you make it a bigger number, it, your phone will run slower. So I, what I like to do on my phones is it, turn it all the way off. Okay? Let's do the next one. Transition Animation Scale. Open it up, animation off. And if you want to try 0.5 first, a lot of people say, hey, try 0.5, and it'll still do, you know, still make your phone faster. Try 0.5. I like to turn them all the way off. Now I'm done. You're done. And let's just go back to home. All right. Now, with all of those adjustments that we made on the S8, let's compare it to how it opens or how the software runs to the S10. So first thing I want you to notice is when I touch, like, the, we're going to do the phone first. Touch phone, see how it kind of opens into the software, and now what happen, watch hap, what happens when I close it. Kind of closes away. Now watch what happens when I touch it on the phone that we just made the adjustments. Blinks on in a second, in less than a second, in almost instantaneously. Now when I come out of the software, blinks off, just automatically. Let's try Messenger. Uh, looks like we got to do some things because I just turned this phone on. But you see how even just bringing it up, it brings it up in a blink. And then when I come out, it closes it in a blink. Versus this one kind of like disappears slowly. And when I bring it up, kind of reappears. It's kind of kind of quick on the S10. A, or excuse me, A10e. Now let's do one more. Camera versus camera. Camera. 
blinks right on and ready to go. This one's very, very close to it. And let's close out of it. Kind of uh, similar. This one was, seemed a little bit faster to my eyes. You can experiment on your phone. And again, if you don't like the settings, just go back into the developer options and uh, change it back to 1x. Otherwise, you, you should notice that your phone runs a little crisper, a little snappier, a little faster. All right, that is it. Thanks for sticking around. Please like, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.